In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own Gmail account for you can use for business use or personal use. This tutorial is really good if you just don't know much about Gmail and you want to create an account and use it for different ways. So you want to pay attention to this entire video because I'm going to go step by step really easy. My name is Adam Shelton and welcome to the video today. And in this video, we're going to talk about Gmail account, creating a Gmail account a tutorial step-by-step -step process for you can use for your business, student, or personal use right now. So the first thing you wanna go ahead and do is go to Gmail. So go to google.com. So right now I'm at google.com. And don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So right now I'm at gmail.com, google.com. And right at the, at the corner here, I'm gonna go ahead and say, add another account. So I'm gonna go ahead and add another account. And when right now I have three accounts that's already have that's tied to Google already. So I have three accounts that you see there that's already tied to Google. I'm gonna say use another account and then I'm gonna say create account. I'm gonna say for myself or to my manage my business. I'm gonna say for myself. So the next thing here, you just create an account, your name and address. So I'm gonna do an example here. So this is gonna be just an example testing tutorial to show you how to do it. So I'm gonna say, um, Roger, Daniel, that's gonna be the, the name. And Daniel R at gmail.com is going to be the actually, well actually, Jen, Daniel, Roger, and see if that works. See, that's taken, what about one, two, one? See, that's taken. Let's see which one, okay, so that's, that's good. So I'm gonna copy this to make sure I understand it. I'm gonna copy it. So Daniel Rogers 12133. And then I'm gonna do a password. And then I'm gonna confirm it. And it's gonna go next. And then the next thing is is asking for a phone number. So I'll say number just, just for testing. And then it's actually gave me a security code already. So I'm not gonna save it right there. I'm gonna check my phone and I'm gonna check out the actually verification security code. That's what happens to you. They'll go ahead and send that to you. So it gave me the code right now. So I'm gonna type that in, 2042. So type that in, I verify from my phone. And then now I'm gonna just gonna put in a basic, I'm gonna put in my actually, you know, birthday, not my real birthday, but just for this testing, I'm just gonna put a just gonna make up a birthday just for this testing here. So, like so. And uh, I'm gonna next. And it says right here, get more from your number. I'll skip this part right here, but you can go ahead and yes, I'm in. And basically your number will be used for to receive video calls and messages. So you can go ahead and do this by saying, yes, I'm in. I'm gonna skip that for right now. And this is just the privacy in terms that it has for it. Just read through this pretty much. It's just showing you exactly what the privacy and the procedures and all the information that goes of having a Gmail account. So go ahead and read that. I'm gonna click on the I agree. And then next, it actually got me to my account. So right now you see here the R, that means I'm already logged in. I can type in Gmail to go right to my actually inbox by typing in Gmail button there and see as you see here i've already created it google's actually telling me that i have an inbox um it's a person's name is roger i'll move this over here roger daniel that's my email address right here that we just made roger daniel 121133 and so this is it right here this is my first email let's check it out so it's basically saying hi roger welcome to google your new account comes with access to google products apps and services so it's pretty much getting me started saying finish up your Google account. So I can go ahead and finish my Google account, which means I can put more information on my profile. Profile. So I can put try it right here, or I can go right here that says account. So I can go to account right here. So that's what I did. I just click right there on that icon that says Google Apps, account, and then I can go ahead and I can make some changes. My personal information, so I can add and change information in here, which you know sometimes you may want to do. You also can go ahead and look at more information that you have in your data and personalization area. 
but mainly you're gonna want mainly do this is change your personal information go back to the home and then if you want to go back to your inbox that we were just in you just go right here this icon right there gmail and it will point you right back to your inbox information now from here you can customize your inbox you can change your profile image so if you have a picture here you can go ahead and click there and you can go ahead and grab a picture right here so let me go ahead and select the picture just up for this example i'll just do an example picture here let's say i want to do that one so that is the picture right there i can move it over and select it so that's the picture we'll use for the profile of the action inbox so we have that already so we change that that um that question no sorry that um check mark is there i can import contents and emails from like a different inbox by clicking there and what happens is it'll pretty much ask me to go ahead what account do you want to import from so if you have a, another gmail account you can go ahead and actually import those contacts into this contact which is really really cool so you keep everything in one place i'll leave that blank get gmail for mobile just click there just type in your mobile phone right here and you can go ahead and get the official gmail mobile app so you can go ahead and be tied into your phone it can be you can check your email from your phone and your information from your phone right from your gmail which is really cool by doing that and customize your inbox right here up there you can change the, the look of it so you can change the look of it if i want to put comfortable and then i want to leave this the default and i can just leave that blank i see all the settings so pretty much i can change the reading pane if i want to go right in the inbox or if i want to keep no split you can pretty much leave a lot of this pretty much default uh, which is pretty pretty you know pretty standard and this is the settings of your actual gmail account this is the settings of your gmail account which a lot of this stuff will stay pretty much default and basic so there you have it this is your gmail account that we created right from the beginning if you need to create another one just go right back where we were and put on add another contact use another contact and create account really really simple and easy to do and just click on next on the next prompt and see if there's anything else no this isn't this is anything else this is pretty much the basic of it your inbox so the email address i'll use is this here so you can go ahead and start using that and then the picture icon i thought they had this in here remember we did this earlier click there and let me make sure that is there it's the picture save picture and there you go so we just changed the picture there just for this example right there so there you have it how to create a Gmail account for a personal use, business use. This is a Gmail account tutorial to help you grow your business or even start a business or use it for personal use. Or if you're a college student, this is really good to use. Gmail is definitely one of the most high functional search engines out there. Just Google alone. So you go ahead and enjoy this as well. For more information about growing your influence and growing your active social media presence, click on the link below. I do have a link where you can go ahead and sign up for my free course, actually for my course, but you can go ahead and learn how to do that properly by attracting people to you, attracting people to you. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to this channel and to this video, and I'll see you on the next video.